Hello, oh, tankers. New day, same hooded sweatshirt. <laughs> I am here and today we're going to do something possibly stupid involving some used clay pots. And we are going to um, talk about laterite <clears throat> and uh, mix that in with my mineralized soil. I'm thinking I might fill up the tank today with water. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> but we're going to get it all mixed anyway. The first thing, though, is an idea that I've had for a while. Um, because I'm a big gardener. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get a good angle for light. <coughs> I'm a big gardener. So, and I really like to reuse things instead of throwing them away. Um, which is hard because I come from a place where I had a huge yard. I had two gigantic compost bins made out of pallets. And where I live now, I kind of have to do gorilla composting, <laughs> which is sort of throwing stuff where you can in an abandoned lot, um, which I think is fine. It's better than throwing it in the landfill. So anyways, I'm constantly trying to reuse and repurpose things that have broken down, such as a clay pot. <laughs> And I had a four inch clay pot that I had left over from gardening this summer and it's all broken. Um, so my idea is that I'm gonna crush it up more with a hammer today. And then I've, I've been reading online about whether it's good for plants, bad for plants. Um, from what I've read, fired clay is chemically very different than like the clay dust you'd buy or the clay, you know, the clay blocks you'd buy or laterite or iron ore <clears throat> and that it's probably not the best idea because some of the fertilizers that were used um, possibly in the soil could have leached out into the clay pot and then you're throwing those in the tank and I'll show you, this is a piece of it. Um, that white stuff is fertilizer that's leached out. I know that I've only used organic fertilizers with my clay pots, with all my pots. Um, so I'm not super concerned with it. I think what I wanna do is break it into smaller pieces, not into a dust, but just smaller pieces. And then soak this in water for a while before putting it in a different tank. So what I'm gonna do now is just Try to break this up a little bit safely. I just got it in a paper grocery bag, and I'm gonna sort of fold the top under so it doesn't go flying. protection if you're doing this because the piece just flew up and hit me. <laughs> um, okay, so now I've got much smaller pieces and like I said I'm going to soak those and just throw it in, my ta in a new tank and see what happens. I will report my findings. Alright, so onward and upward. My laterite came in the mail yesterday and it is this stuff. First layer, pure laterite. And so I proceeded to rinse it in the bathtub about 10 times. And it's still, you can see that water in there is still a little bit rusty, but that's nothing like it was. Um, I'm going to mix it in with my soil that's already in my tank. If you watched the previous video, um, you'll know that I used the Miracle Grow Organic Choice Potting Mix. Um, this has been wetted and dried twice now. It's a little, I put aquarium water on it today from another tank to um, 
moisten it up for planting. And what I've done right here, um, this is just a pile of basalt rocks, which eventually I'm going to use to tie java fern to. But I've been thinking about um, where I'm going to put wood in here. And I don't want to compact the dirt underneath the wood. So underneath all these rocks is just bare glass. It's, there's no substrate in this little area. So I know that <laughs> this is where the rocks are, where the wood is going to have to go, I guess. Um, so that's fine. And so now, see, now that I look at this, hmm, I wonder if I want that really right underneath the filter. Ah, maybe I want it on the other side. <laughs> well, that's the fun. Before the water's in, you can make such decisions. So I'm just going to relocate those rocks really quickly. And so you can see the substrate here. It's only about um, half an inch thick. And I wanted, with my first dirt tank, to just take it easy and not make it overly thick and cause potential problems. So that's that. If you've done it before, you know, you would know better than me how deep to make it, but I just wanted to err one side of caution. And so the I ended up putting in I had a half pound of crushed coral and I ended up putting in mm, probably two thirds of that. So just kind of smoothing. Sorry, for the camera, totally in the wrong spot. Looking at my pants. I'm just kind of smoothing this out, making it more or less uniform. And now I'm going to put in the latrite. So let's see if I can get the camera to balance. There we go. And so I'm just using a garden trough. I mean, sorry, a garden trowel. And right now I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it. I bought the 55 ounce bag box. And I'm going to try to use that half of that. Okay. I just went ahead and rinsed all of it though, so it's done. And I don't believe I've used Laytrite before. If I have, it's been a long time, so I'm hoping that it will be a decent iron source. So, just gently mix. incorporate everything. Now this is the point where I feel like if I wanted to go all the way with this I would let it sit again with everything mixed and then re-wet it and rinse it and let it dry out again and then try to cycle it some more with more aquarium water. Um, but I'm just not that patient. <laughs> so I am going to make the executive decision to uh, put gravel in today. Um, I have gone through and picked out, I mean, as much as I've seen so far, um, big sticks and, you know, obvious things that might cause, you know, bark looking pieces and things that might cause problems in the future. So, hopefully. And I've made the gravel, I'm sorry, the substrate intentionally just a little thicker deeper at the back because that's where the taller plants will be so and probably more plants so I'm just gently kind of sloping it slightly towards the back all right on with the gravel so this is like I said before this is just some all-purpose gravel and a little bit of um sand that I have laying around. And I'm just sort of pouring it into my hand and then trying to 
slice it rather than putting it all out at once. That's what it wants to do. Um, and at least an inch is the idea for capping the soil. So, I'm just kind of eyeing it right now. Um, I really hope that I have enough gravel. I'm worried about it now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. I've read about the idea that you are cycling your soil, you know, just like you are cycling your, your water or, you know, everyone knows about, most people know about, you know, cycling your tank before putting fish in and getting all your, I mean, you know, ammonia levels down before adding anything that has to live in there. So by cycling our soil, first, hopefully, we'll be more hospitable to my plants. And still some big chunks of basalt in here. Um, so I'm looking at the level, and I don't think, well, if I put my finger all the way in, it's about up to my knuckle there so that's about an inch and a half so we probably are pretty good with um, gravel might do a little bit more all right um so i'm just gonna add a little more gravel and um probably gonna start filling it up with water very slowly so um I'm going to add, you know, dechlorinated water very, very slowly. I'll probably put a plate in there and I will report back when it's, uh, when it's full. So thank you for watching.